Taxpayers in Wayne County could soon be paying the salary of a man convicted of stealing from them. Robert Davis went to prison for embezzlement back in 2014. But a seven investigator, Ross Jones, tells us tonight he says he has learned his lesson. I learned my lesson. Six years ago, almost to the day, Robert Davis was sentenced to prison for embezzling nearly $200,000 from the students of Highland Park. The judge said you should have known better. I should have. And uh, certainly from my background and uh, from my mentors, I should have. He helped funnel the money, according to the feds, to shell companies that funneled the money to Davis. He owes the district about $195,000 in restitution, and he's paying it off at a rate of $50 a month. Now, some of the same taxpayers Davis stole from could be footing his next salary. He's extended me an offer of employment. And I'm very grateful for Commissioner Scott, who I've known since I was a young kid. Commissioner Martha Scott confirms by phone that she's offered Davis a job on her commission staff. While she wouldn't tell us how much it would pay, she said he'd serve as a legislative assistant. This would be Davis's second government job since he was released from prison. Since 2017, he's worked in the office of State Representative Latanya Garrett. Her term ends this month, and Davis is looking for work. In spite of the mistakes in which I've made, I'm probably more qualified than many of the individuals who hold certain state positions. Well, I'm shocked, and quite frankly, I wouldn't hire him. Wayne County Commissioner Ray Basham says hiring Davis would be a mistake. You're taking taxpayer money to pay back taxpayer money. That don't make much sense at all to me. But Davis says even a government job gives him a better chance to fully pay his restitution to the students of Highland Park. And at $50 a month, he'd have to keep paying for another 325 years. Individuals who may have been convicted of any type of crime, be it murder or embezzlement or um, abuse of public trust, uh, they have a right to a second chance. And tonight, Wayne County Commission Chairwoman Alicia Bell said she is supportive of Davis's hire, saying in a text message, I believe in second chances and someone's past shouldn't prevent them from a productive future. We're in Detroit tonight. I'm Ross Jones, 7 Action News.